Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another video. We have a lot to discuss today, my friends. We're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum, then later on also into the DXY and NASDAQ because many things are happening right now. So we're gonna analyze the lower and bigger time frames, of course. And uh, first off, I want to say a big shout out to Bybit, to everyone that is trading over on Bybit. Make sure that you are joining this seven day challenge that is starting very soon. If you want to register to Bybit, make sure to use my invitation link down below here in the video description. With this link, you will get up to $90 in bonus. So like that, you can do some free trades. So make sure that you're joining us here over on Bybit. There is a new individual challenge coming up where you can win even more prizes next to your own gains that you're doing with your own trading. So currently what I did, I increased my long position overnight because I'm still very confident that we will go up to 60k, potentially even go higher. We have several reasons why we could be heading now towards the 60 to 62k area. So make sure that you're watching the video until the end and for everyone that don't want to trade themselves with leverage definitely try out prime xpt i'm still giving out 50 dollars coupons over on prime xpt you just have to contact me directly on discord in our discord trading chat so if you want to take advantage of the co-vesting module that we have here only on prime xpt where you can copy paste other successful traders then make sure to join prime xpt with my link down below here and also use the promo codes to get some extra bonus and otherwise make sure that you're taking advantage of bitscap because on bitscap we have trading bots and as you can see they are very much profitable wherever the price is going and bitscap is offering to our community a 14 days trial so you can try out for completely for free for 14 days these trading bots that they have you don't have to deposit nothing here you can just connect your existing exchanges like binance coinbase and so on to this platform and then you can run the trading bot on your exchange and of course you can also do some arbitrage here so definitely take advantage of these 14 days completely for free afterwards if it's paying out for you you can do a 19 dollars monthly plan very cheap you should get the money very quickly back here if you're using their profitable bots i did also a tutorial how to set up a trading bot at the end of this video it's popping up that tutorial so make sure that you're watching that and there of course you also get the link how to get these 14 days completely for free so in order to make some passive money and also multiply your Bitcoin portfolio, those are the best ways how to do that. So make sure that you're taking advantage of trading yourself over on Bybit or Femex or take advantage of this co-vesting module on Prime XPT and of course also on Bitscap with these very profitable bots that you can find there. And now my friends, let's start with the content and I want to start here on the CME chart because as you can see, we have now a big CME gap up to $62,000. So during the weekend, we had this crash in the Bitcoin price. And as you can see here on the CME chart, we are right now at the main support of this ascending triangle. So here on the CME chart, we didn't have this breakout to the downside like we had here on the spot chart where we lost our main support of 58K. Here on the CMEs, we are still safe within this ascending triangle. And that's why I think that we are still looking very bullish. But of course, we are in a very dangerous zone right now. So on the CMEs, we shouldn't drop now lower than 56K. But there are some warning signs that we maybe could even go lower than that and have also here on the CMEs a breakout to the downside, especially if we are not able to recover back above important supports that we're going to cover on the spot chart. So here on the CME chart, I'm actually quite bullish, at least for the short to midterm, because if we are able now to go up to 62K, of course, we are then again above our potential new resistance here between 58 to 59K. So even if we would go up here to close this gap, the important thing is that we are able to create a support above and consolidate above this potential new resistance, because otherwise,
otherwise the danger that we just gonna have here a big pump towards 62k and then immediately another rejection back down is very high and the good thing is if we're gonna go up here to 62k we would also close this CME gap that we have now also above of us so currently we have two CME gaps right above our current price action and that's why in my opinion it's very likely that we will go here to close this CME gap here at 59k and then potentially go also up here to close the new one at 62 and then we're gonna see if we are able to consolidate above those levels or not because the danger is still here that we could fall off the cliffs here also on the CMEs because we also have this CME gap here at $54,000 which is also quite new and of course we have several small ones also way below of our current price action we still have this big one over here at $23,000 and even a smaller one down here at $18,000 so I don't expect that we will crash down towards those levels to fill also these two CME gaps but of course based on the CME chart there is also a chance that we could come back down there to close also those CME gaps if something crazy would happen that would bring the price back down to those levels if it's likely right now that we could crash down to those CME gaps in my opinion it's not very likely but I just want that you have that in your radar my friends because we still have some CME gaps down there and usually in the past always they got filled so that's why in my opinion they could maybe one day get filled but if it's going to happen right now I don't think so the likelihood is very low but of course it's always possible so what we are seeing right now is the price here on the CMEs exactly at our main support if we're gonna drop below $56,000 and start to close 4 hour or even daily candles below 56k then the likelihood of coming back down towards our target of around 44k is going to increase and that of course uh, would lead into a massive correction here before maybe we could gear up towards new levels so we are currently in a dangerous zone my friends but we also have several bullish things that happened in the last couple of hours and therefore let's go over to the spot chart and open up also the one hour time frame because here I want to show you why I increased my long position for now first you can see here that in the one hour time frame after we bottomed out here we created a bullish divergence so as you can see my own indicator it's very easy to identify bullish and bearish divergences because they are signaled in a specific color connected with lines so like that you will never miss out when we have a bullish or bearish divergence and keep in mind if you want to get access to my indicator you have to get a youtube membership here or you can contact me directly on discord because a small donation is needed in order to get my indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals so we had this bullish divergence in the one hour time frame and also after consolidating within the symmetrical triangle we had a breakout to the upside this was the moment when i increased into my long position and right now you can see that we had follow through to the upside but we are coming into a very critical point here in the one hour time frame first we are having right now this ema ribbon as a resistance and also this previous support trend line which previously acted as a support and now could be acting as a new resistance is also potentially giving us some problems here right at $58,800 so we are only safe once we are able here in the one hour time frame to trade again above the EMA ribbons and of course also break through this potential new resistance at around $58,800 as long as we are below these important price levels there is still a chance that we could get rejected here heavily and then see continuation to the downside and even drop below this low that we had here at $51,500 and eventually even reach our bearish target of $44,000 and now let's go over into the four hour time frame because as you can see here we had a clear buy signal in the four hour time frame we were completely oversold in the RSI so this was the second reason why I increased my long position but what we want to see right now is of course that we are able to fight here the EMA ribbons again and start to close four hour candles above $59,500 because in that case we would be back in an uptrend based here on the EMA ribbons and of course we would also start to consolidate 
consolidate above our potential new resistance here at $58,800. So the important thing is here that we are able to recover above because if we're gonna stay below this trend line, then I think the breakout just started and we will head first towards our bearish target of around 44 Okay, so in the four hour time frame right now we are seeing a breather but we are still not out of the woods yet although the RSI is still below the 50 level we didn't even come up to test it and that's why I think it's very likely that we could even see follow through towards 62k to close the CME gap that we have right now and then eventually have a big rejection there. But if we are able to consolidate again above this trend line here of around 59k then I think we are out of the woods and we will head towards new all time highs because the next potential resistance and target area is up here at around $69,600 based on this rising wedge that we were in here in the last couple of days. So the lower time frames are looking quite bullish in my opinion. I think here we're gonna see follow through but we have to break this resistance here at around $58,800 in order to go back into our uptrend. And then the second thing that we want to see is of course that we create new all time highs, so higher highs and not lower highs because that could indicate that we are just seeing a breather here before we're gonna continue towards our bearish targets. And now let's go over into the daily time frame because yesterday we had a successful close within the EMA ribbons. So yesterday I told you my friends that we have to close the daily candle above the bottom of the EMA ribbons right here at $55,700. This is also what happened so far. We are safe here in the daily time frame. But of course the bearish thing is that currently we are closing candles below the 29 daily moving average which currently are here between $59,000 and $60,000. So if today or in the next coming days we are closing daily candles below the 20 and 9 daily moving average, this is our new resistance and then we should look for continuation to the downside. But if this was a fake out and we are able to recover immediately back above the 9 and 20 daily moving average and create it as a new support, then I think this was just a fake out and we will go towards new higher levels very very soon. But right now we are still in this dangerous zone below our potential new resistance here of around 59k my friends and that's why we are not out of the woods yet of course the daily close yesterday was bullish and even if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that we closed above the nine weekly moving average which currently is also here at $55,700 and this was the second thing that needed to happen in order to have at least some bullish closes in the daily in the weekly time frame to have some hope that we are not going to reach our potential bearish target down here at around $44,000 where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up. So as long as we're closing weekly candles above the nine weekly moving average and of course daily candles above the EMA ribbons, we should be good to go towards new all time highs. But if we are confirming now these new resistance levels here at 59K as a legit resistance, I think the danger that we could see the price dropping at least down towards the 20 weekly moving average increases a lot. So we are not out of the woods yet, my friends. Also, it's gonna be depending how we're gonna close this week because currently the nine moving average is turning into red. So if this week we are not able to close above the last previous weekly close here at $56,300, then in my opinion, the likelihood that we will crash down at least to test the 20 weekly moving average increases because whenever the nine moving average here is turning into red, that's always a bad sign. And especially if here in the weekly time frame we are starting to close weekly candles below the previous ones, we could be in a prolonged correction phase, which will take us at least down towards the 20 weekly moving average. In the worst case, even down towards the 200 daily moving average at 34. Okay, so we are still in danger zone, my friends. We are not out of the woods yet, even though this breather that we are seeing and this last daily and weekly closes was bullish. We should expect here a fast recovery back up because otherwise, if we are getting rejected here at our new potential resistance at 59K, I think we could enter into a prolonged correction here, which will take us at least down here towards 44K. And we're gonna have to wait several more weeks until we are creating again new all time highs highs and move towards our bullish targets. So we are still not out of the woods yet my friends but everything is starting again to look a bit more bullish than it was yesterday 
and uh, if we go over into the ethereum price also here you can see that ethereum had a very nice bounce right here at 2040 dollars so also here in the lower time frames ethereum is looking extremely bullish we bounce on a very important support level of course also here we are not out of the woods yet we're still below the ema ribbons but i think very soon here as soon as we can take the rsi above the 50 level and start to consolidate above the ema ribbons we are also here back in an uptrend and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that also here we had a huge week down to the ema ribbons right at the bottom we had a huge bounce again and this dip was bought back up very very quickly so this is still looking extremely bullish my friends and we are still closing daily candles above the 20 daily moving average right here at $2160 so Ethereum in my opinion is looking even more bullish than Bitcoin at the moment but of course if Bitcoin continues to dump then this will take down also Ethereum in my opinion maybe for the short term some altcoins like Ethereum can hold a bit the price but if Bitcoin continues to dump also the altcoins will bleed my friends so let's hope that Bitcoin is able to recover back above important support levels otherwise things could start also to look very ugly here for the Ethereum price and of course also for many other altcoins but overall i'm still leaning more to the bullish side my friends we have of course several warning signs but there are also some bullish signs especially if you have a look here into the cme chart here we are still in theory safe within this ascending triangle and also we have this new cme gap above 60k so i think we're gonna have a very fast recovery above 60k but then of course we have also to start to consolidate above 60k and not drop again below and of course and also not lose the main support that we currently have here at around $56,500 here on the CME chart. And another thing that makes me even more bullish for a continuation towards new all-time highs is the DXY. The DXY is still falling, my friends. And as you can see today, we have a big drop down to the 100 daily moving average. And I told you that here I am expecting a bounce since this 100 daily moving average acted previously always as a strong resistance. And once this moving average got broken, we had here an explosive move in the DXY. So if here we are not getting a bounce, then I think we are back in a downtrend here on the DXY and we should expect to go at least down towards $90. And if this one is getting lost, we will have a big waterfall, a big crash here in the DXY. And that, of course, is very much in favor for the crypto and stock market. So the DXY is back in this critical zone. If here we are getting a bounce, then of course we also have to go up here and retest the EMA ribbons and the 200 daily moving average at around $92. But if here we are not seeing a bounce, then I think the DXY just had its run and we will return in our bear market here in the DXY. So this is something that we have to keep an eye on because if the DXY continues to fall, this of course is very much in favor for the crypto market and of course also for the stock market. And speaking about stock market, let's head over to Nasdaq because Nasdaq is still creating new all-time highs. Even though we got here also a sell signal, we are still looking extremely bullish. And it looks like that we want to create also here new all-time highs very soon. And whenever Nasdaq is pumping, then in my opinion, this is also very much in favor for the crypto market. And that's why also here I'm expecting a fast recovery here above 60K and then hopefully also start to consolidate above and create higher highs. This is what we have to see here in the next coming hours and days, my friends. For now, we are seeing a little breather. So if you want to long and take advantage of this dip, you're still not too late. We could also come back down to retest this 55 to 56K area. But the four hour time frames or the lower time frames are starting to look again more bullish. And I think we are gearing up here very soon for a potential uh, big move towards 60 to 62K. And then we're going to have to see what will happen if we're able to consolidate above or not. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also check out all the referral links down below here to the recommended exchanges. And also here you find the invitation link to our great Discord trading chat. A big shout out to our members over there. If you want to get access, just click on that link and then click here on read first and press the thumbs up button like this. You're confirming that you're a human and not a bot. And 
and like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you also want to get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin then make sure to send me a private message here because a small donation is needed and then you have access to the indicator. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!